Hey folks, um, something a bit different today. I don't normally do these talking head type videos. Normally I'm baking or gardening or something like that. Um, but I was actually asked if I would consider doing this. Um, a young lady got in touch with me called Katie. So hi Katie, if you're watching. Um, and she had said she had noticed in some of my videos I was wearing purple glasses. And she asked if the purple glasses might be because I had Erlen syndrome. And in fact, yes, Katie, you were right. I do have Erlen syndrome. That's why I wear the glasses. Um, Katie had said in her email that she wears, uh, her glasses are turquoise, I think she said, um, that she wears because she has Erlen syndrome. But she's finding it quite hard at school. She gets picked on a little bit at school and some teachers aren't very sympathetic um, and ask her to take her sunglasses off in class. Um, she says she tries to explain, but they just don't understand. Um, so she actually asked if I would consider doing a video on my channel to talk about my purple glasses. Um, so yes, happily Katie, although I'm not sure I really know a lot about this that I'd be a good person to explain it to people. Um, so apologies if this is a bit rubbish, but I'll do my best. So yes, Erlen syndrome. Um, it also gets called visual stress. And if you're in the UK, you probably know it as visual stress. Um, but basically what it means is if you have Erlen syndrome, your brain processes information slightly differently. Um, it was explained to me it's a bit like a camera with a faulty exposure setting. Um, so if you have Erlen syndrome or visual stress, you can find bright lights very, very difficult. Um, and also high contrast and things as simple as reading text in a book. Um, so people with Erlen syndrome get a lot of headaches because the light really affects them. Um, so even out in bright sunshine can be quite hard going and you get an awful lot of headaches. Um, fluorescent lights in buildings are awful. I hate fluorescent lights. Um, but also what happens is if you're reading, um, it's very difficult to focus on the text because for me anyway, everyone has different things, but there are a few kind of common factors. For me, text on the page, it's like it moves slightly, um, just enough that it, it kind of comes in and out of focus. Not all of it, but just parts randomly. Um, and I also find I get very, very bright spots that kind of become bright and then dim again, again, randomly on the page. Um, the, the way I, I find best to describe it is as if someone has hung fairy lights across the sentence and they're flickering. Um, and it just makes it very, very difficult reading it. It means my eyes get really tired quite quickly. Um, and like I say, I get headaches um, and it's just not pleasant. It means it's really quite difficult to focus. So it was quite difficult at school for me. Um, although I'm in my 40s, so when I was at school, there was no support for this kind of thing. Um, in fact, I was only diagnosed myself um, less than a year now. Um, I actually started a part-time course at university and it was through the university that I was diagnosed as having Erlen syndrome. Um, so the purple glasses then, what are they about? Well, basically, the way it was described to me, the way it was explained, again, I, I'm not a scientist, so I'm doing my best, but it was explained that the different waves of light are what are affecting people and they affect people differently. So for me, the purple filters out the irritating sort of lights that um, are giving me problems. Other people have different colours that suit them. Mine's was purple. Um, it's as simple as when I first got diagnosed, I just did a piece of purple plastic, um, like acetate, that I put on the page. Or if I was printing, I printed on purple paper. And you'd be surprised the massive difference that actually makes. Um, and I got the glasses not long afterwards because it's just more convenient than carrying around this piece of purple plastic everywhere I go. Um, I was very hesitant at first about the glasses though because I work with a lot of video and graphics and I worried that purple glasses would affect that. Um, because obviously if you're putting purple glasses on it would make everything purple. Yeah, makes sense. Except the very strange thing is it doesn't. I don't see purple at all when I look through these glasses. Um, if anything... They maybe are like the tiniest bit of a dimmer switch. They just take the edge off the light slightly. Uh, nowhere near like sunglasses or tinted glasses normally. Just the tiniest bit, it just takes the edge off. Um, but what I really notice is when I take the glasses off, the whole world is, to me, it's like the whole world is bright 
turned yellow. Everything has a, a yellow tinge when I take the glasses off that I hadn't noticed before. Um, so, yeah, so that's my story of my purple glasses. Um, so, Katie, thank you for getting in touch and I hope this helps you out a bit. Um, she did make me laugh when she emailed because she said that it might help to have um, a grown-up tell people about Erlen Syndrome because people might listen to me because I was a grown-up and had a YouTube channel. So thank you, Katie. You made me laugh because I in no way consider myself a grown-up. Um, but I really do hope that this helps and just know that you're not the only person who wears mad glasses. Um, so any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'm not and an expert in this subject at all, but I could at least maybe give you links and point you in the right direction. So hope you um, found that interesting. Bye.